hello and welcome to this video as i said in my last video on complex numbers that uh, i will make slides in html css and javascript so here i present the website which will host the slides so this is my website tavakka.org you can note down the url if you come here you will find slides there are other things also which you can read but most of it will be eventually removed so you go to slides here you will find algebra once we will add trigonometry slides we will add these here and calculus and other subjects here go to algebra so the topic is complex numbers i have only made one slide till now so you go to complex numbers you will see this problem set 241 to 250 and you click this so this is what uh, the slide will have so let's put this in uh, full screen mode now as i always say that when i am reading the problem you should pause the video and only if you cannot solve the problem yourself then look at the solution so let's get started with this set of problems the question 241 says that if ai comma bi are members of set of real numbers i is equal to 1 up to n show that sigma ai n is equal uh, this should be i i is equal to 1 to n whole square plus sigma bi i is equal to 1 to n whole square less than equal to i is equal to 1 to n sigma square root of a i square plus b i square whole square so this is our first problem so what we will do is we will take two complex numbers z1 and z2 as a1 plus i b1 and a2 plus i b2 and then we will prove that that modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than equal to z1 plus z2 which is sufficient enough proof to prove the given inequality uh, because you can extend this for example you can once we prove this we can also prove that z1 plus z2 plus z3 is less than mod z1 plus mod z2 plus mod z3 and so on so once we take the left hand side it becomes square root of a1 plus a2 whole square plus b1 plus b2 this should be b1 i will eventually correct all the slides b1 plus b2 whole square less than equal to square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus square root of a2 square plus b2 square so we square both sides and then we will have a1 a2 plus b1 b2 less than equal to square root of a1 square plus b1 square into a2 square plus b2 square we square again and we will have a1 a2 plus b1 b2 whole square minus a1 square minus plus b1 square into a2 square plus b2 square less than equal to zero and then from this we will have minus a1 b2 minus a2 b1 whole square which is clearly less than zero and that's how we have proved the desired inequality question 242 says that lead let mod z by z1 bar minus 2 z2 bar divided by 2 minus z1 z2 bar is equal to 1 and mod z2 is not equal to 1 where z1 z1 and z2 are complex numbers show that mod z1 is equal to 2 so we are given this so we square both numerator and denominator and we bring denominator to the right hand side we will have mod z1 bar minus 2 z2 bar squared is equal to 2 minus z1 z2 bar whole square and then we use the identity mod z square is equal to z z bar so we will have z1 bar minus 2 z2 bar into z1 minus 2 z2 is equal to 2 minus z1 z2 bar into 2 minus z1 bar z2 which will which when multiplied these terms are multiplied will give us mod z1 square minus 2 z1 z2 bar minus 2 z1 bar z2 plus mod z1 square mod z2 square and on right hand side we will have 4 minus 2 z1 z2 bar minus 2 z1 bar z2 plus mod z1 square mod z2 square so the term mod z1 square mod z2 square will get cancelled 
and 2 z1 z2 bar and 2 z1 bar z2 will also get cancelled so what we will be having is mod z1 square um on. this gets cancelled this gets cancelled okay so what we will have is um there is something wrong here let me verify uh, there is some calculation mistake we have not written 4 z2 uh mod z2 square that is a missing thing this won't be z1 square mod z1 square mod z2 square this is incorrect this term is incorrect this should be 4 mod z2 square and once we have that we will have mod z1 square mod z2 square minus 4 mod z2 square minus mod z1 square minus 4 is equal to 0 and that implies mod z2 is equal to 4 okay because you take z1 square common and z2 square then it will give you if you take from here mod z2 square common it will leave with mod z1 square minus 4 and then this will also be the same so since mod z1 is not equal to 1 mod z2 will be equal to 2 if z1 and z2 are complex number and u is equal to square root of z1 z2 prove that mod z1 plus mod z2 is equal to mod z1 plus z2 by 2 plus u plus z1 by z2 by 2 minus u mod of z1 plus z2 by 2 minus u so we have mod z1 plus z2 by 2 plus square root of z1 z2 plus z1 mod of z1 plus z2 by 2 minus square root of z1 z2 so this is equal to half mod of we take half common then this will be equal to square root of z1 plus square root of z2 whole square mod of that plus half mod of square root of z1 minus z2 whole square and then when you simplify this it will become z1 plus z2 question 244 says that if z1 and z2 are roots of the equation alpha z square plus 2 beta z plus gamma is equal to 0 then prove that mod alpha into mod z1 plus mod z2 is equal to mod beta plus alpha square root of alpha gamma plus mod of beta minus square root of alpha gamma so earlier we have proven that mod of a plus square root of a square minus b square plus mod of a minus square root of a square minus b square is equal to mod of a plus b plus mod of a minus b. Now we substitute a is equal to beta and b is equal to square root of alpha gamma. So we will have beta plus square root of alpha gamma plus beta minus square root of alpha gamma. So we have this and then from this we arrive at mod of alpha into multiplied with mod of beta by alpha plus square root of gamma by alpha plus mod of beta by alpha minus square root of alpha gamma by alpha which will be equal to mod alpha into mod of minus z1 minus z2 plus square root of z1 z2 plus mod of minus z1 minus z2 minus square root of z1 z2 which will be equal to mod alpha into mod of z1 plus mod of z2 question 245 says that if a b c are complex numbers such that a plus b plus c is equal to 0 and mod a is equal to mod b is equal to mod c is equal to 1 find the value of 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c so to solve this problem we will use the identity mod z square is equal to 1 that means z z bar is equal to 1 and therefore we can say that z bar is equal to 1 by a thus we can say that 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar now because a plus b plus c is 0 therefore a bar plus b bar plus c bar will be also equal to 0 Question 246 says that if mod z plus 4 less than equal to 3, find the least and greatest value of mod z plus 1. So we 
have z plus mod of z plus 4 less than equal to 3. Therefore, its numerical values would be minus 3 into mod z plus, sorry, not mod z plus 4 less than equal to this should be 3, should not be 4. Okay, this is 3 now. Then we take 3 and bring it to left hand side and to the right hand side also we have 0 less than equal to z plus 1 less than equal to 6. So that's how we have the least and the greatest value of z plus 1. Question 247 says that show that for any two complex numbers z1 and z2 mod z1 plus mod z2 multiplied with z by z1 by mod z1 plus z2 by mod z2 less than equal to 2 mod z1 plus z2. So we use polar coordinates here and so our uh, terms become like this that uh, mod z1 will become r1 and mod z2 would be r2 and z1 by mod z1 would be cos theta 1 plus cos theta sin theta 1 i sin theta 1 which we have written here and cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 would be our z2 by mod z2 so this whole thing becomes r1 plus r2 square root of 2 plus 2 cos theta 1 minus theta 2. Now, once we have this, we find 4 z1 plus z2 holes mod z1 plus z2 square, which is equal to 4 r1 cos theta 1 plus r2 cos theta 2 whole square into r1 sin theta 1 plus r2 sin theta 2 whole square. And we, uh, this would be the value of 4 mod z1 plus z2 square. Now this is equal to 4 r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 cos theta 1 minus theta 2. And we also square the left hand side. We will have 2 r1 plus r2 whole square into 1 plus cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 whole square. So if you look at this expression, and you look at this expression clearly left hand side is less than equal to right hand side question 248 says that show that the necessary and sufficient condition for both the roots of the equation z square plus az plus b is equal to 0 be unimodular r mod a less than equal to 2 mod b is equal to 1 and argument b is equal to 2 tan argument a so our given equation is z square plus aj plus b is equal to 0. So if p and q are two roots, then from quadratic equation, we will have p plus q is equal to minus a and pq is equal to b. Now we take modulus of both of these. So we will have mod p plus q is equal to mod a and mod pq is equal to b. Now what we have been asked is that both the roots should be unimodular implies that the modulus of p and q would be 1. Now if mod of p and q both are 1, then we know that mod p plus q is less than equal to p mod p plus mod q is equal to 2. That's how we have got a less than equal to 2. Similarly, mod b will become 1. Okay. Now these are of unit modulus. Therefore, for p we have let them as cos theta 1 i sin theta 1 and q as cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 both have modulus as 1. Now argument of b would be argument of pq that is cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 theta 2. Now this argument is nothing but theta 1 plus theta 2. Now argument a is argument of p plus q which you can see we have solved this using trigonometry and eventually we have found this as theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 and that's how argument of b is equal to twice argument of a um there seems to be some problem here we are missing the question okay so this was 248 okay so the solution is smashed up here our 249 is here and solutions have come before the problems okay in html it it caused a problem okay so we will revise we will i will fix this this is a typing mistake massive typing mistake
if z is a complex number so that mod z is less than equal to mod real part of z plus mod imaginary part of z less than is equal to square root of 2 mod z so we let z is equal to x plus i y so mod z is nothing but square root of x plus x square plus y square which is less than equal to x plus i y so we square both sides we will have x square plus i y less than equal to x square plus y square plus 2 x y that means 2 x y greater than 0 which which would be true okay now we consider real part z plus imaginary part of z less than equal to square root of 2 z that is x plus y less than equal to square root of 2 x square plus y square we again square both sides we have x square plus y square plus 2 x y on left hand side right hand side we have 2 into x square plus y square now we bring everything to right hand side we will have x minus y whole square greater than or equal to 0 which is also true now problem 250 Problem 250 says that if mod z minus 4 by z is equal to 2, show that the greatest value of mod z is square root of 5 plus 1. So here we are given that mod z minus 4 by z is equal to 2. So we can write that mod z minus 4 by mod z is greater than or equal to 2. That gives us the quadratic expression mod z square minus 2 mod z minus 4 greater than 0. The greatest root of this equation is square root of 5 plus 1. With this, we come to the end of problem set of 25th problem set of complex numbers. I'm sorry that there have been lots of typing mistakes, particularly in this one. So I'll be, I'll try to be more careful with the next slide. And, uh, I'll fix this slide because it will live long on this web page. So when you will visit, uh, this problem should be resolved. I'll fix probably tomorrow. And uh, if you found this video useful and informative, please subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it as much as you can. If you want to say something, please make use of the comment box. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.